Okay, lesson 75, area of a complex figure and area of a trapezoid. So a complex figure is just a figure that is not your normal rectangle or square or rhombus or parallelogram. For instance, if we had a pentagon that looked like this. So it has a corner cut out of it and say this is 10 feet or 10 inches, this is 10 inches. Um, maybe this is six inches, five inches, okay? So we wanna find the area. We can take the area of the whole shape as if the corner were not cut out. So if we were to just kind of put a dotted line there, maybe highlight it a little bit. So the area of the whole thing without the corner cut off would be um, 10 times 10 or 100 inches squared. Then if we take the area of this triangle that's missing, we know that this length would be five inches. I know this doesn't look anything like half of that, but that's okay. And we know this will be four inches. So if we take the area of this triangle, so the area of the missing part, that's five times four, which is 20, divided by two, just 10, inches squared, and we subtract, then we know the area of the missing part, I mean the area of the part that's not missing, this pentagon, would be 90 inches squared. Okay, so you can do um, subtracting areas of missing parts. Um, another thing that we need to go over is trapezoids. So we're going to draw a trapezoid. <coughs> this is called the height is basically straight up and down from the top to the bottom. The two sides that are parallel, we put little arrows in there to make them so that we know they're parallel base sub one, base sub two, we call those bases. The area of a trapezoid, <coughs> the average of the bases times the height. Sometimes you have it written as, we're gonna write area, sub trapezoid. You'll see it written as one half in parentheses base sub one plus base sub two. So that's how we find average. We add the two together and divide by two and then we multiply that times the height. So an example if we had a trapezoid short side's 10 centimeters, the long side is double that. <coughs> and we're gonna say that the height is five centimeters. So to find the area, we would do one half. We add 10 centimeters plus 20 centimeters, and then times it by five centimeters. If you notice, we have centimeters times centimeters would be centimeters squared. So 10 plus 20 is 30. Half of 30 is 15. 
15 times 5, 75 centimeters squared. And that would be the area of the trapezoid. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Do some practice set.